Hello, my dear friends. A lot of people think that uh, the market will not correct the crypto market um, and they don't understand why I think it will crash. Um, and, 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 and of course, uh, nothing certain and it cannot crash as possible. But the odds are very high that it will. And why do I think that? Because that's what always has happened in the past. But it doesn't mean it will repeat. But um, the, odds, the odds are much higher that the past will repeat than that we will get something completely different. Uh, that's how it works in markets. I, I learned investing thanks to Mark Faber. His book Tomorrow's Gold was my big last first lesson in investing because before the way I invested was my first savings I invested at the peak of the dot-com bubble in 1999 in Lernout and a company that was in the news and, and was uh, the big future and they were, were uh, conquering the world uh, with their um, speak uh, technology uh, and uh, even Bill Gates uh, from Microsoft at the time the biggest company in the world uh, decided to invest um, 50 million in Lernau 10 house people and um, and so I said all right I'll so do the same and so I invested my savings at the peak of the bubble and a year later it was all gone uh, so the the collapse happened uh, and uh, and, and it ended up that actually this whole company was built on lies and it was had in the meantime was the biggest company of Belgium in, in, in the dot com uh, bubble and had attracted like the whole uh, Belgian scene of investors uh, even like Bill Gates had invested in it so I mean but what, what, what was the true story the true story was that they were claiming or in the books it looked and the news was all the time that so many other companies had that bought their 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 software uh, uh, worldwide uh, everywhere and that they were the leader in the industry but when the boom collapsed it turned out that they were had actually been buying their own software they had set up fake companies buying their own software and the money came from just the stock prices that were going up in value uh, and they used that money to buy their own software and it looked like it was expanding and the industry leader, but it was a bunch of lies. So after that, um, uh, I read the book of Mark Faber uh, a couple of years later uh, in 2003 or 2005. And um, he explained uh, the various, like how to invest well is you have to invest like it's always for 10, 20 years that something is going well. It's either stocks that are going well, or it's gold, or it's bonds, or it's real estate. And after 10, 20 years, they will have a correction, uh, or they will not do anything for 10 years. And if you count real inflation of 5% per year, not doing anything means losing 5% per year. So uh, that happens with stocks in the 70s, and happens with real estate, for example, the past 10 years. Uh, and um, and and uh, uh, um, uh, and happened with gold the, since 2011 uh, or actually 2910. Eh? Gold has not done anything, uh, so 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 that has been a loser the past 10 years. But there's always during uh, a certain decade there's always something that's doing it good. And your challenge as an investor is to find that before the decade starts invest in it and just sit back and uh, see it going up while all, while the others are not going up so 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 the important decision you only need to make one decision every 10 years uh, to find the right asset class invest in it and, and and you will profit so that was my first lesson in investing uh, and 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 so from that perspective of course you're sitting good in crypto um, um, but you also have to look at the short term um, because in crypto it is extremely volatile um, in stocks you have um, 
or in gold, for example, it goes up for 10 years, stocks sometimes 20 years, uh, and, and you will have small corrections um, uh, every fourth or fifth year. It will, it's perceived as a big crash, but actually it's just a small correction because after that it goes up another five years and to new highs and, and, and much higher. And so, so you just have to, you don't have to trade these short term uh, moves and you can just um, sit uh, uh, back uh, for 10 years and, and see it going up and have confidence that uh, it will continue to go up. Uh, you could actually apply that with crypto too, but in my opinion, that's just not um, uh, that's not the wise strategy here because um, it's not an asset uh, clause. It's an asset clause, but it's so new that and 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 there's nothing like certain here. Even if you invest in the leader of the industry, that leader can even fail. Huh? So when you invest in stocks, for example, you will invest in an index fund of the 500 biggest companies. And if the stock market goes up, you will have profited if you invest in that index fund. Or if uh, if you, we have a commodities uh, decade, you'll be sure to profit from it if you invest in gold. Um, and so but this is not the case in the crypto industry. It's a, it's much more comparable the crypto industry to the startup scene, the high tech startup scene, and there um, you could approach it with an index, and that has been a good decision um, for crypto too. Uh, especially today, now that even the suckers have gone up a lot. Uh, uh, if you would have composed an index in 2013. Well, many uh, finally have gone up uh, that were leaders in 2015 uh, and have been like lagging uh, many others. Uh, I'm thinking about NXT, BitShares, uh, Counterparty, uh, like the leaders from three years ago that have been fallen off the map uh, the past three years and many newcomers have stolen the show. Um, well, actually, they have also now gone up, BitShares, Counterparty, NXT, quite a lot. And so even if you would have an index, uh, you would have done well, even also in the crypto uh, markets. Uh, but um, even if you would invest with an index, that index would go up and down a lot. Um, let's say you compose an index of cryptocurrencies and you compose the index based on market cap, um, then um, you will see that that index uh, can go up a lot, times 10, times 20, um, but um, it will also go down from time to time with 80% after the, after, the, after the bubble. Uh, this has happened in 2011. When Bitcoin went from one dollar to thirty-two dollars, back to three dollars, so then the index was ninety-nine percent Bitcoin and one percent some other stuff or even less. But um, that index went up uh, times thirty and then dropped with ninety percent. Uh, so divided by ten uh, times thirty divided by ten, you're still in profit, but only if you were in at the start. And if you like, you can see that even though it went times three, if it first goes times 30 and then divide by 10, there's a lot of ways to also lose money on this uh, roller coaster ride. Uh, even though in the end it went times three, that's not, um, uh, you could have bought a lot higher and not at the start as more, most people. And then you will sit on a serious loss uh, when it corrects from $30 to $3 uh, sooner or later. And if you then chicken out, uh, you're going to be fucked. You have lost money on the whole ordeal. So, um, and this is the case too with, uh, if, you invest, uh, if you invest in a crypto index fund, uh, the same applies. And so... The most important lesson as an investor is that nothing goes up in a straight line uh, and nothing goes down in a straight line. And so if you want to succeed in buying low and selling high, which I always, I also fail from time to time, 
but then you have to um, um, basically that's a constant exercise you have to continuously to try to buy low and you have to continuously to try to sell high and so you always have to judge am I buying low right now is it a time to buy or a time to sell and for me there is no question that in the current climate it is not a time to buy it's a time to sell um, so yes, cryptocurrencies can go to 1,000 billion or uh, 1 trillion market cap, but it's not going to happen in one straight line. It comes from 3 billion, that was the low, from 13 billion, it was the peak in 2013, the uh, cryptocurrencies uh, dropped to 3 billion one year later, and now is at 110 billion. Uh, so it could go straight to a thousand uh, billion but uh, that's very unlikely much more likely is that it goes from three to maybe 200 billion then it corrects to 50 billion then it goes to 500 billion then it corrects to 200 billion then it goes to 2 trillion then it corrects to 500 billion again or 700 like that's the way it has been in the past and so that's much more likely to be in the future. So people that are investing now or or, or or not selling anything because they think in the long term we'll go to one one billion, uh, one trillion. Okay, that's that's a possible strategy. But then you also really have to be aware that and accept and know today that yes, before we reach thousand billion, we could go first to thirty billion, and we're now at hundred ten. So that means my portfolio will drop by 70 80 percent so if you are not like willing to accept that or if you deny that for yourself then you're not being realistic and very likely when it happens then then you will sell uh, at, at at very on a very bad timing so 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 yes it's it's to be expected that we will see before we see thousand billion we will see 30 billion And we will see, still see 1,000 billion. And why? Because that's how it has been in the past. That's how volatile it has been in the past. The last bubble, it went from um, about 1 billion to 13 billion, and then it corrected to 3 billion. That's the last bubble. So it, it corrected from 13 billion, oh no, actually 14 billion to 3 billion. That's a serious correction. We're now 10 times higher at 120 billion, eh? From 3 billion to 120 billion. So, yes, it may go to 250 or 200, but very likely after that it will go to 50 or maybe 30 eh, for the whole industry. And, and that's independent on, on whether this, that's even if this has a great future, this industry, then still this will happen. Eh? Even if you're sitting on winners, even if Ethereum becomes everything it is hoped to be today then still it will correct very likely very strongly before it grows continues to grow so and there's also the aspect of duration bubbles in the past have lasted only a couple of months um, and so I'm already very impressed how long this bubble has lasted I've been wrong in predicting it to correct because every time it has actually not started the bear market but instead continue to go up but uh yeah i am very impressed how long this has lasted and um and and and, and if history repeats or if history rhymes we will get uh, very soon a, a multi-month correction that's the most likely i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i hope you enjoyed the summer bye